afternoon. I hope your day is wonderful where you are. Welcome back to the third live Facebook of today. Um, today is day one of the Great International Craft Show and as part of this fantastic event, I am doing four live Facebooks a day, giving you lots of free classes, telling you, giving you all my tips and tricks and all of the information that you need to know. Today being Thursday, we have got some fantastic specials on nataliemay.com.au. Today we have got, where are we? Here we go. We have got 15% off today for Lindy's Gang products, Mente products, and washi tape. So I'm going to be using all of those things in this next live Facebook. Um, something else I want to tell you about very quickly is no judgment postage. Because we have another new fantastic special tomorrow, or if you've even ordered already today and you decide, you know what, I need some more. We have no judgment postage. So what that means is you're going to pay $12.50 for your first order. And then after that, you just need to select no judgment at the checkout and we will bundle all of your orders together and post on Monday and Tuesday next week. So that's pretty awesome. Um, don't forget, you can also join the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community on Facebook. We have a great group there where we give away um, gift vouchers to the store, give you ideas about, you know, different tips and tricks, tell you when there's some specials coming up, lots of things like that. So plenty of opportunities uh, for you to, to jump in and join. You do need to request to join. You can also follow me on Instagram and find me on YouTube under Natalie May Scrapbook Ideas. Okay, so I thought I would make a bit of a gratitude journal today. Today's class is all about using up some of the scrapbook papers that you have at home. But first thing I wanna do is I'm going to use this to make the front cover and the back cover of my gratitude journal. So to do that, I wanna paint these using Magicals. Magicals by Lindy's Gang, um, most of you know, are a pigment dye based powder that kind of reacts a little bit like a watercolour except for it has a great permanency to it. This is the colours, these are the colours that I want to use. Um, if you like to use sprays to colour your chipboard like I did in the last video this morning, you could easily use something like these. This is the Drop Dead Diva set and these are my probably one of my two or three favourites. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a little wash here of these Magicals. So I'm just using my Nuvo spoon um, to take the Magicals out of the packet. Put, you'll put something in here and just pry it open. So there's some fantastic colours in this set. So this set is called the Summer Break Set. And I want to use pink. So this is um, Umbrella Drink Pink. And like I said, they look like a powder. That's all they are. So what we're going to do is I'm going to scoop some into here. Then put the lid straight back on. Uh, I think I might also use a little bit of this teeny weeny bikini. Which is kind of like a beautiful golden yellow. And I might even use some beach ball blue. I don't want to use all the colours today. I think I'll just settle for three. And then I'm going to activate these powders. So to activate these powders, all I'm going to do is I have some um, fancy Adelaide water here. And I'm just going to top it up with water and you can see what's happening we are activating those and you can see that gorgeous shimmer that the lindies have that is starting to settle 
on the top. All right. I'm just going to pop that off to the side just while I put my paper towel down and get some of these other little elements out of the way so I don't make a terrible, terrible mess any more than normal. Actually, let's get one of those puppy training pads again. Hang on a minute. These are these puppy training pads, which I just buy from Kmart in bulk, are really handy for this purpose because they do actually soak up a whole heap of liquid. Um, now, I'm actually going to leave it sitting in the frame and I'll pop it out after, only because I want to... I want my colours to go all the way across. I want to give my colours, uh, get my colours on here. Paintbrush. Paintbrush. Get my colours on here and give them a, give them a really good coat. So I've got some paper towel handy. Um, I've got a thick paintbrush. And what I would like to do is I'm going to go yellow through to pink through to blue. That is the plan. So I'm going to wet my paintbrush first just to make sure that I've actually cleaned it, which is just off camera here. And before I start, I'm just going to get my paintbrush in here and just give that a little swish around. Okay, and then I'm just going to get it on. Get it on like Donkey Kong. There we go. So because the Minto chipboard is porous, what's going to happen is the colour's going to soak right in really, really quickly. So a couple of things I can do is get some water on here to help soak in that colour and spread it around a bit. So I'm just using the Nuvo water spray bottle, which is my favourite one to use. And now I just want to use my dirty brush to make it a lighter colour into here so I can overlap this pink next, okay? Hi everyone. Would they work in alcohol? Do you mean, uh, Lynn's just asking the question, would this work with um, chipboard and alcohol inks? Sure, I guess so. There's only one way to find out and that's just to get in there and have a go. So of course, chipboard, as you can see with the water, is, is soaking it in really, really quickly. And I'm moving quite confidently as well. So I know that the, the color is soaking in quite, quite fast. So if I hesitate, it's going to, get that little bit there, it's gonna soak right in. So I'm just getting it in. Alcohol ink would work differently um, on chipboard, absolutely, but hey, what have you got to lose by, you know, you gain more by trying something new, Lynn. So, there's the pink on there, now I'm going to have a go with the blue. And I'm going to start on the bottom with the blue, because I know the blue is going to be quite a deeper colour. Look at that. So, the colour is soaking, the ink is soaking into the chipboard and the shimmer is sitting on top. Now the shimmer is something of course that's not showing up real great on camera, but I will, once it dries, I'll bring it up to the camera and we're gonna have a, a bit of a bit of a drool over it and you'll be able to see how beautiful it is. So now I'm just gonna take some of this blue and layer it over the top of that pink to create that sort of ombre look okay very crows colors Michelle I don't think so darling I'm a diehard no I'm not I'm married to a wharfie so I have to be a poor power supporter it's in the, it was in the marriage contract pretty much um, so <laughs> blue pink very very pink and then yellow in fact I can make this even pinker just to prove that point. 
just by adding another coat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some more pink, pop it back into that well, put the lid back on straight away, activate that powder into there. And I can intensify that pink and actually it'll help it go over that blue lovely. So I can use these just like any sort of watercolors. The only thing that's making these a watercolor is the fact that there is water to activate them. Okay, so they are gonna look fantastic. There we go. So I'm loving that. So these chipboard shutters are a Minte product. Oh, I've got a blue dot. Right, have to commit to that there because it's not going anywhere. Um, the, the blue, sorry, the shutters are a chipboard product from Minte. So I, th I just think they look fantastic, really, really nice. So if I bring them right up, you can see that there's a, a graduation in color and there's a little bit of shimmer showing up there as well. So I'm just gonna pop those aside to dry on the floor. And while I have this here, I have got some seam binding. So seam binding is a, a white ribbon. It's kind of like a crinkle ribbon. Um, and what I wanna do with that is I'm gonna soak up some of this color that I have left to dye the ribbon. And then I'm gonna put it aside to dry. So I'm just gonna pop it into there. I don't really want the blue, but I'm going to use the ribbon as well. All right, so that's there, that's there, and then I'm gonna put that aside. So what I generally do with that is wrap it in a piece of paper towel and squeeze it. So it takes out any excess liquid and this speeds up the drying process. And then we unwrap and I don't get my hands totally stained any more than normal. Well, I've got Pilates tonight, Lou. I don't need bright hands. So now I have this beautiful yellow ribbon. So we sell this by the meter. Uh, it's fantastic, very, very easy to use. Won't take very long to dry. Uh, I will pop it aside to dry. And that is it for the coloring for the moment. Okay. So over the years, I have collected, is the word, scrapbook paper. Now I know you all have too. This is just a 20th of the pile that I have got. I have gone through and grabbed papers that I have been collecting for years and years and years. I know you all have them at home. Uh, you all have papers. So I've got all of the brands in here. I've got ones that, companies that are no longer around. I've got so many different, different brands, different companies. And what I wanna do is I'm, I'm wanting to make a gratitude journal. So I want to use all of these beautiful pieces of paper as pages in my journal. So I'm just going to Take a moment to fold some of these in half, okay? So actually, I mean, I'm keeping, I don't know why I was keeping all of these papers, let's be honest. I mean, put your hand up if you, if you have, a, have a pile of papers that you seem to be saving for a, a rainy day. You've got those papers that don't go with anything anymore. You've got those papers that you were keeping to, to use and it's too pretty to cut up. I know, you know, we all know. You have thousands, Karen, good girl, you admit to it. I used to be part of a, um, a subscription club, for goodness sakes. Don't want that one. Um, where I was, I don't know, I don't know why. 
But these are all 12 by 12 papers, Robin, hundreds. So, yeah, you've got them too. Come on, who else is putting their hand up? Sandra. Okay, so ladies, what are you saving these papers for? Why, why, why are you saving these papers? I mean... I mean, this one's a good example. This is a 13 arts paper that came out maybe six years ago. And that's seriously gorgeous. Couldn't cut it up. Don't know why. And now I've got nothing else that goes with it. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful. Yep, saving them all for a rainy day. Well, guess what? I don't know if any of you have seen the news. It's South rain. Australia's had a little rain here. Um, we had a copious amount of rain, and I do believe Melbourne's getting a lot of rain as well. Um, most of the country. Because, you know, heaven forbid, it's the middle of summer. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's raining, guys. Time to use the papers. Stop hoarding those things because guess what? The day will come and we're going to have to cover your coffin in scrapbook paper. <laughs> I know. I know. You're saving it for it. But yeah, your coffin will look fantastic. Um, how funny is that, right? You could just leave a whole heap of paper um, at your... Um, at your funeral and then people can just cover it cover all of your things with it cover your sorry cover your coffin with it and, and collage a big tub of gel medium oh, how gorgeous is that I love that paper moving on um, look it has a P on it um, yeah so you know as much as yes, we would love to cover your coffin in these papers. Um, did you buy them to use them? Yes, you damn well did. So get in there, girls, and use these papers. Pull out all the papers and go, yep, I'm going to make a junk journal or I'm going to make a... I obviously got too many papers out here, but... Um, make yourself a, a, a gratitude journal. Uh, so, a gratitude journal I did many, many years ago. I created a gratitude journal. Uh, I do have it at home somewhere still, actually. I should have bought it in ready to show you. But what I did is I had one, I had 50, 52 pages in this gratitude journal. And the gratitude journal was, I wrote down, there's one page for every week, obviously, and I wrote down something every single day that I was grateful for. So that could have been anything from, uh, I had a really nice cup of coffee, through to, um, I, I bought someone flowers today to make, you know, to make them feel good. There are lots and lots of things to be grateful for every single day. And when you are having a day that you think is just a bit ordinary, there we go, then you can write it down, write something down. It could be anything. It could be a nice cup of coffee. It could be the sun is out. It could be... I left work today without bird poo on my car. I just put that one in there for Louise. Um, so there's always things to use, to, to, to be grateful for, and there's always things that we forget about in our day, um, at, at the end of the day, that you kind of look back and you go, you know what, yeah, I had a shit day, crap day, but bottom line is someone's always doing worse. All right, I'm just going to dry this off and pull it apart. Um, yes, Cheryl, the time to start using that stuff is now, okay? You don't know what's around the corner, so be grateful for what you have got and use up the things that you have. You know, 
of course I would love for you to buy all the new wonderful things um, and I highly encourage you to do that <laughs> but use up some of the things that you've got at home but what you probably find when you pull out all of those papers like I've just done now is there's nothing goes anymore there's no coordinating paper to go with half of these things and I only have one left of one particular brand so I can't find anything to to uh, to go with it that's going to look fantastic so that is why I'm using these papers all right nearly there so with chipboard they all have these tiny little joiners here so as you can see at the like the end of the spoon here there's that little join that joins the outside to the inside what we need to do is we need to separate those with a knife or a pair of scissors and and what would be good is this it's not totally dry either which is why that just tore I just didn't need to spend another 20 minutes with the heat gun on in here because although I am in sunny Adelaide today um, the humidity is currently sitting at ridiculous a million degrees of dick ridic ridiculous it is not pleasant here today it's frizzy hair weather and quite frankly if I wanted Darwin weather I'd move to Darwin I don't know how you girls up in Darwin do it I tell you okay So these shutters are currently on special as well as part of today's daily special. And now I have the front and the back of my, my gratitude journal. I just need to be able to do something with them now. So let's have a bit of a think. I wanna do a, a pretty cover. And I'm going to use my, I'm just going to create a bit of a spine here. So again, another paper that for some reason, saving for a rainy day. So I'm going to cut that. Cut that at five inches. And then I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to... So the middle is going to be two and a half. So I want to have about an inch spine, okay? So I'm just going to score there. And there. So that I have got this nice little fold. Like that and like that okay so you can see what i've done there now ladies this is really good in my head okay so if it doesn't work it's just paper and now i'm going to grab my trimmer and i'm going to do that so i'm going to cut this one in half to start with because theoretically that should be about, oh beautiful, just under six inches. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I want this beautiful spot here to be on the inside. So when I open my book, I've got that on the inside because the shutters are, although they're see-through, it, it won't really matter what's on the other side, okay? So I need to trim this down to size. And 
and I'm just going to make it I could have measured it and cut it but that's not how I roll I'm one of these people who would prefer to pencil mark and cut do two pieces at a time Sunshine, that's what Jeanette's saying. It's exactly what it feels like. It's awful. Alright. Close enough. Okay. Then that is going to get stuck to there, like so. But before I do that, I want to put that in the middle no i don't i need to do that like that which means i need to trim this down to be the same size to the outside so I've just given myself a nice fat binder edge okay and then that will stick onto there now I'm gonna be a bit cheeky here and go for the fat tape I love my big boy tape and that's gonna go into there so Now there are so many different ways of binding mini books and, and things like that. This is what I'm going to do so that I can add to my pages if I need to. I'm going to keep it super simple and my hearts don't go any particular way. I'm going to keep it super simple, not over complicated and don't do it like that. And, um, you know, I can do fancy binding and oh, all sorts of different things. But why? Why, why, why? Why do I need to do that? When this is going to work. Well, it does in my head anyway. And here's the spots for this side. All right, good, good, good. Now I can actually see a few little love hearts through the shutters. So I might just very quickly pop a little bit of a panel on here. And the good thing is, oh, look at that. It actually lines up perfectly. Couldn't have done that again if I tried. And again, I'm just using up papers that I have at home. I could quite easily use, oh, I've got paper pads and I've got paper pads coming out of my ears, half open packets of all sorts of bits and pieces. I can embellish each page. There's just a million things that I could do to personalise this. Um, using up all my papers so that um, I don't have this continual mess pile of unnecessary things clogging up my life okay and yes a trimmer would be perfect mm -hmm. 
Okay, that is the front. Before I stick on my shutters, I would like to add the ribbon so that it ties off quite nicely. So just finding the middle, I'm going to tape that to there. So while I've got this tape out, I figure it's really a waste of tape. as well. So now, yes, that's a slightly excessive amount of ribbon, but that's okay. Now I can stick that onto there. How am I going to stick it on is the million dollar question. I'm just Oh, look, I could use some, I'm going to use, I'm going to use some red tape. So I'm going to use the red tape. I'm going to use, I could have used glue, I can use gel medium, but I didn't want to uh, wait for that to dry. So because clearly patience today is not one of my top 10 superpowers. Try and find one of my 17 pairs of scissors here. Expose that. Yeah, the super sticky stuff. And I'm gonna double my tape up here. And whip down the sides with it. So you can see where I'm going with this. Using these, these chipboard doors, these chipboard shutters, um, to, to make a solid cover for my journal, okay? Um, and I'm actually just going to pop a little through the middle. Like so. Now, is this the one with the blue spot? No. So this is my front. So when I peel off, I'm going to do it the grown-up way today. And I'm going to peel off a little bit at a time so that I don't completely mess it up because, you know, that's a thing. Which is a little bit harder to do with this tape, but I'm going to make it work. Jeez, I'm making that look hard, aren't I? Right. What about the middle bit for me? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, thank you. Now I've got to stand up to do this. Hello, Alison Bevis. Welcome, my love. Some of this into position 
and I'm gently just going to peel back that red tape now. It is a little trickier with this red tape because it doesn't fold back really well. But I'm going to make it work because the, the red tape is the wonder tape, but it is the stuff that you wonder why you started using it because it's a pain. But I tell you what, this stuff sticks incredibly great. Hello, Lynn from Tassie. How are you, my friend? All right, front cover, done. Looking good. Okay, so let's speed this up on this on the back here. And you know what? Yeah, no, no, Natalie, commit to the red tape. I know, I know, you all went, Natalie, don't use the red tape. You made that look like a nightmare, but guess what? She's back. She's doing it again. Just rip it off. Yeah, but if I mess it up, Lou, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Standard, standard Natalie May catchphrase. It'll be fine. Ask my personal trainer. He says exactly the same thing. To, well, every time I say it. Just commit to it. Just commit to it. All right, let's go. But the sense of the sense of um, achievement after creating a project like this is is huge because you've you've used up papers that you've been saving for a rainy day, and. I think that that's huge. All right, so that's my front, that's my back. So therefore, <laughs> blues on the bottom. Done, it's stuck. It's a little bit wet in the middle there. Rightio, check it out. I like it. There's the inside. Rightio, so what I have got here is pages. Here's all my pages. Oh, and look at that. They fit perfectly. So these do all need trimming down, which will take me another 10 minutes to do. But I'm, so I'm not going to do that right now. What I'll do is I will trim a couple and I will show you how I then put the rest of it together, okay? Just to give you a bit of a, a guide, um, rather than have you all watching me do this for the next 24 hours, because I feel sometime it might, you know, it might take a little bit, I just need to cut off a, a freckle off of that side and a freckle off of that side. Doesn't matter what side I cut. And it does not matter if all of the papers are different sizes. It just gives you some really lovely, fun, So if I just use these three here to start with, one, two, three, from my pile, I'm going to go, I can do this, one, two, three, happy with that, and then I'll do another quick three because what I want to do is I'm going to join these together. And I can use 
washi tape to join them together. Oh, conveniently, washi tape's on special today at 15% off. We've got a good range of washi tape. We've got some lovely neon ones. We've got some lovely vintage style. We've got some earthy ones. We have got, we've got all the washi tape. And this is a really good way of using some of your washi tape. So I'm, I've got these now going here going here I can go back to back where's my washi tape here's some so this is just one of many ways of binding let's not use that one many ways of binding your mini album not so aggressive this time okay so you can do pages like this but they're joined together like that okay and then I can quite easily take this one and do exactly the same thing okay alternatively if you have a long arm stapler you could staple the middle of these so do three or four pages at a time and then bind them together like that um, we can grab some string, which will be my way of doing it. I'm going to use the string, I think. Or I might washi tape it, actually. Washi tape will give it much more strength. But I can tie them together. Pop them into here and then tie them around here so that the tie is all at the middle or the tie is at the top. So then the pages will sit in there quite nicely and they're all joined together. So there's so many different ways of tie of putting your, your journal together. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to put all of these pages together with a combination of washi tape and string so that you can have a bit of an idea and you can get some tips and tricks. Um, the only other thing that I will do to finish this off is pop some words on the front. So popping some words on the front um, and finishing off the front of this to tell the story is important. So I've got some gold thickers, some gold alphas here. Uh, we've got a huge range of alphas, as you know. We've got these awesome silver ones. We've got some here that you can colour to suit your, um, in customise to suit. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to write a word down the bottom here. And I hope that I have enough letters here. I didn't look at that. Come on. Well, that one's a little stickier than I would like, which is great for, you know, for sticking it on there. But when the paper gets stuck to the back, So today on nataliemay.com.au, you uh, at the checkout, you will automatically get a 15% discount on all Minte products, which includes this background panel. 
Um, you will also get 15% off of Lindy's, which is what we used to colour. G R A. E. Um, and you will and washi tape also 15% off for today so that great four, 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 four. so that um, is for today only tomorrow being Friday we have another fantastic special and I'm not going to tell you what that is until Friday because that would take all the fun out of it. How am I going for time, Lou? What's the time? Um, you've done 45. Oh, 45 minutes, nailing it. All right, grateful. Maybe I want to say I am grateful. I was going to do it in white, but I think they're too big. I, oh, I haven't got another A. All right, so I need to find smaller letters to go here. I don't, I don't think that's going to work for me. And I'm going to pull out one of my 1,100 packs of thickers that I have. Um, so there you go. There's my cover. So I'm going to bring this up to the light so you can see how incredibly amazing. Can you see that sparkle? Did I spell that right? G-R-A-T-E-F-U-L. Yes, I did. Um, I'm human. That happens, okay? So there's that gorgeous shimmer. So we open it up. And then we've got the cover. So I could punch holes in here. There's so many different ways of binding. Um, so just to quickly show you again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bind three or four pages at a time using different washi tape. Here's another washi tape that I've got. And these ones are going to slip into each other. And I'm actually just going to use some sticky tape first to keep it into place. Keep it in place. Because I can then washi tape over the top of that. So you know that massive collection of washi tape that we all have? Start using it, guys. Being grateful. Oh, thank you. Good idea, Shezza. Clear to hold it into place. And I'm going to grab... Let's have another... No, another gun. Let's have another go at this one. This one's a little bolder. So when I have a busy paper, like, like say this one here, um, instead of like to be able to write something that I am grateful for on it, what I would do is get in there and do a, a white paint or a white gesso swish down here so that I can write over the top of it so that I don't lose this beautiful pattern. I mean, alternatively, I could cut a piece of white card and stick down there, okay? So that would also work. There's no reason why I have to keep it at you know, that colour there. So using up those busy papers that you can get a little bit overwhelmed with, um, this the way to do that is, yeah, just get a, put a white painty background on it. Um, I'll do one very quickly to show you and then I will finish off. All right. So I'm going to make up these little pages, these little what they call signatures, I think they call them. That's the proper terminology. Uh, and... Put them all together like so. But there's just all the different ways that we can play with them. 
so I can put that one in the middle. And I don't mind that I've got these overlaps. Hey, remember border punches? Border punch a couple, round the corners. Make it pretty, make it work for you. But look at this massive stack of 12 by 12 paper that I have been saving for a rainy day to, you know, and I'm using in my journal. So perfect opportunity. So now if I just do like, this one here is quite busy. Little white gesso, palette knife, palette knife, palette knife. And now I have something that I can write on. So, I think that I am going to definitely start, make this my gratitude journal for 2020, keeping it on my desk here at work. 2020. <laughs> I'm grateful for making it to 2022 and not even, no, not even realising it apparently. <laughs> Yes, you can sew the books together with a sewing machine. Oh my God, Sandra, that's a fantastic idea. If I could sew, that's exactly what I would do. But I can't sew, so no judgment on that. All right, so I would just write the date up here in a big black pen and then write bullet point, something ungrateful every day. Doesn't matter what it is. Good cup of coffee, good customers amazing orders that come through, new products that come in, pretty things that we make into journals, anything you can be grateful for, okay? Write it down, think of the things. All right, that's it from me. I have waffled well and truly. This is my grateful journal. Um, I'm going to finish this off and I will post some photos up here online and link the products, of course. I'll just take a photo of this to show you but you'll have a really good idea on what we can do. So jump online to nataliemay.com.au and today only we have 15% off of chipboard. 15, sorry, not chipboard, Minte, which includes the Minte chipboard. We have 15% off of washi tape. We have 15% off of Lindy's Gain products, which is exactly what I've used here to colour my chipboard, okay? Lindy's Magicals, sprays, you've got embossing powders. Um, but there's also some more amazing bargains. We have got the Art by Marlene watercolours reduced down to $33.60. We have got all the Art by Marlene products at 15% off. Uh, these are a bargain. They were 19, they are now down to $14. They are the Art by Marlene rhinestones. We have got some of the Minte chipboard books. They are 20% off, down to about 10 bucks each. Okay, so that's a bargain. The wood shape embellishments, which are fabulous, and then the Minte 6x8 books. So that's just some of the specials that we have available for today. Um, so thanks, guys. That's enough from me. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, and I look forward to seeing you back here this afternoon for a quick little art journal page. Thank you.